I supposed to do? I got nitrites. I am Mike. And Direct yeah. descendants. Good morning, Hawaii. SIQ. It's a beautiful day. Uh -huh. Just chilling on on my lanai. Looking at the up, sky bro? right now. We're gonna eat a what? So people take it for granted. What's going on, YouTube? It's Jay Wilson, Jay Wilson 07 Instagram, Twitter, Jay Wilson on Facebook, Yoshi, and NorthfinUSA.com. We're also on Instagram and Facebook. Check us out. Lowered the shipping costs, added some value. Like I said before, we don't want to be the only one that sells Northfin in the US. We just want to be the best, and you're getting us there. So what are we here to talk about? Nitrites. Last week we talked about nitrates and how they affect our tank. This week we're talking about nitrites. Now we're backing, we're doing a reverse over the biological process. So nitrates, nitrites, ammonia, even though in the tank it's ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates. There's a reason why I did this. I want to give you all of the information from how it stops to the beginning. Most people start at the beginning, we get bored, and then we forget how it ends. So here's the deal. Nitrites are killers. Lethal, fast, elusive killers of your fish. But there's a reason, okay? They're the intermediate part of the biological process. They're smack dab in the middle. Ammonia happens, nitrite happens. Nitrate becomes what nitrite was because of the good beneficial biological bacteria process. So what are some reasons why you or I would have nitrites in our tank? Poor filtration. Oh my goodness. Poor filtration. Stop with the poor filtration. Two, overfeeding. I can't stress enough how many times we overfeed. It is ridiculous. Three, extreme cleaning. What I mean by extreme cleaning is my brother in Connecticut decided to set up a fish tank. He had it for about four or five days and then told me, hey, I can't figure out my tank, my fish are dying. And I said, how many times have you cleaned it in the five days? He said five times. That's extreme cleaning, taking everything out, scrubbing it down vacuuming up the sand bed like crazy, completely cleaning your filters. There is necessary biological bacteria that your tank needs to keep and you're taking it out. The other thing is just too many fish or too big of fish in a tank. It happens, it's the nature of the beast, um, but you gotta figure it out. So, now that we have some ideas of how nitrite stays in our tank, how can we get rid of it? Well, you shouldn't have any of that in there if your tank is cycled, okay? If you got new tank syndrome, then yes, you're going to have nitrites in them. But a healthy tank should not have nitrites. What do I do if I find out through a testing process that I have nitrites? What I do is I utilize SAFE. Right on the front, it tells you it detoxifies nitrites. Completely beneficial to what you're trying to do because you need to protect your fish. So use some sort of product, whether it's the Seachem Safe, Seachem Prime, or any other products that are out there to help mitigate nitrite for this immediate process. Unless, I cannot stress enough, unless you have a filtered, completely running and steady, stable tank somewhere else in your house, you're gonna to need to use this product. In order to lower those nitrites after you mitigate it because you can't save your fish immediately and move them, what you're going to have to do is you're gonna to have to do a 25% water change. Not 50, not 75, not 90, 25. There is method to the madness. 25% helps minimize and reduce the nitrites while still allowing the biological process to happen. If you take too much water out, you're only going to restart the cycle and be back at square one and be banging your head about what's going on. No bueno. Do not do a 25% water change more than once a day. Yes, once a day. If you do more than once a day and you do a 25% water change, you've done a 50% water change. 
Your tank has not caught up to your maintenance. It's a thing. Your tank needs time to cycle, okay? 25% once a day, do it for about four days, five days, whatever the case is, and then if you're still having nitrites, you really need to look at some other things. And some other things could be, you need good aeration, proper filtration, that's what you need. Solid flow, it sounds like a commercial. Solid flow, proper filtration, and good aeration. So I have three filters on this tank. Not because I think it's cool, but because I think it's necessary. I have about 40 fish in this 220 gallon tank, haps and peacocks, all male. I've got two FX6s and one Sun Sun HW3 or 4 Bravo. I do that because of the nitrite, nitrates, and ammonia issues that I could potentially have. I don't want those. The other thing you need to do is if you're still having trouble with nitrites is you need to test for pH, GH, and KH. If you have an extremely low hardiness water but it's super acidic, that is no habitat for good biological bacteria. And he's showing off. So get some good media, get proper filtration, get some good aeration and flow, test those those few things we just talked about, the GH, the KH, and the uh, pH, and just make sure that everything is smooth. If everything's smooth, you're fine. And don't add all these chemicals like, ah, oh, I have this chemical for ammonia and this chemical for nitrite and nitrate. You keep adding chemicals, you're not going to figure it out. Your tank may not have a chance to ever do the process properly, and then it crashes, and all your fish die, and now you're pissed. We don't want that. There is no magic bullet out there. It is only research, knowledge, and sharing in this community that's gonna help you from doing that. Now there are freak accidents that happen all the time, but if you're utilizing a good water conditioner like Save for Prime, you're going to, to completely take out the, the need for all these other chemicals. So, if nitrites are in your tank at any level, I do not care if it is a minimal level, your tank is not cycled or is currently cycling. Be patient, be proactive, and you won't have as much stress and you might not lose as many fish. So I hope you gain some knowledge in where nitrites are, where they came from. It's ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, happiness. You're gonna have some nitrates in your tank. That happens, but you should have zero ammonia and zero nitrite. Next week, we're gonna talk about ammonia, and then you're gonna have the three-step process to the biological cycle. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for liking, disliking. This guy's being a hoot over here. Disliking, sharing, resharing, unsharing, commenting. Whatever you're doing to keep this channel relevant, it means a lot to us. You know what's next. Ah!